Assalamu alaikum students. Lastly, we have read about the citrus. What was citrus? Citrus is simply the restoring force. The internal restoring force set up within the body per unit area which tends to bring the body back to its original configuration and that is known as the citrus. So it is the force which acts uh, normally which acts within the body per unit area. So citrus lastly will define as the internal restoring force set up per unit area of the body. Now that way the citrus is having types and one of the type that is called as a normal citrus. From the, no, no, from the name it suggests that normal. Normal citrus simply means which acts perpendicular. So the restoring force set up per unit area normally to the surface of body is known as normal citrus. For example if we are having body like this. And on that very body, we are going to apply force F on this very side and force F on this very side. So there will be the elongation. There will be increase in the length of this very rod, of this very body. So there will be a restoring force which is going to act in this very direction. In this very direction. Which tries to bring the body back to just what? Original configuration. So first we should be aware of normal stress normal stress simply means the restoring force set up per unit area normally to the surface which is going to act normally on this very surface if we are going to do one thing we are going to apply force on this very side like this normally to this very surface and as well as on this very surface So what happens there will be a restoring force that is going to be in this very direction here in this very direction here in this very direction here in this very direction so that is going to act normally to this very surface as this is the applied force in this very direction in this very but the restoring force is inwards here so this very force which this very restoring force which gets set up per unit area on the unit area and normally it has to act normally not at an angle normally to the surface this is the surface it is acting normally perpendicular this is surface it is acting perpendicularly normally that is known as a normal stress. now here as i quote this very example this example this is the example of tensile stress what is tensile stress as this very normal there can be compression if i will take the same body once again like this and now what i will do I will apply force on this very body but now the force is acting in this very direction I am compressing the body here if actually the length of body was originally L once the force is applied so there will be the length of L plus delta L there will be increase in the length I will see if it was having a length of L, it will be L plus delta L. And originally, if we were having this as a length L, and once it is compressed, it will become like this. And its length will be what? Now the L minus delta L because there will be decrease in its length. Once you are going to apply force, so there will be decrease in its length. So simply I am saying what is tensile stress? Tensile stress, if there is an increase in the length, that is the elongation, if the body is elongated in the direction of deforming force, as the deforming force was in this very direction here, in this very direction, and there is an increase in the length in this very direction, then there a stress gets developed, but a stress gets produced, that stress is called as what? Tensile stress. So here the examples of tensile stress, here the example is of what compressive citrus what do you mean by compressive citrus compressive citrus is the citrus in which there is decrease in the length of body in the direction of the foreign force this is a direction of the foreign force this is a direction of the foreign force and there is decrease this was the actual length now the new length is like this it is like this if it was l now this much it is decrease from this side this from 
so the net length of this is now l minus delta l so what is compressive citrus it is the citrus which gets produced on a body when we are going to apply force in such a way that its length decrease then there is a citrus getting developed in the body that is called as the compressive because of compression from the word both are called as what longitudinal citrus because they are dealing with what length both the stresses are called as what log whether tensile or compressive those are called as what longitudinal stress then there is one another type of this very normal stress that is called as hydraulic or bulk stress what do you mean by hydraulic or bulk stress if we are having some object like this we are having this very object this is the initial this is initially we are having the object now this very object is immersed in water if it is immersed in water I have immersed water and this is the water around it what happens on this very side there will be the pressure of water on this very side there will be the pressure of water there will be the exertion of force on this very on every side normal to the surface so what happens if it was initially having a volume of V now it is having a volume of V naught there will be decrease in the force so when an object is immersed in a fluid or gas the fluid exerts the force on the surface of the object as a result of this the volume of the object decreases actually it was having volume of V now there is decrease in the volume there is volume of now V naught as V is greater than V naught so how much is the decrease that is V minus V naught that is a decrease now a stress gets developed once this object is taken away taken away from this very fluid it will try to regain its original configuration because there will be a restoring force acting normally outward on this very body so as a uh, once the body is under a hydraulic stress bulk stress there is a decrease in the volume of the object but the shape remains as such as it is so this very stress is called as what this very stress is called as this is called as the bulk stress bulk stress which is defined as a force acting perpendicular to the surface of the object per unit area you have to remember that the effect of stress this very bulk stress is produced distortion or change in size volume and shape but the shape here the shape it was a spherical one it remains as spherical so there is not change in the mm, shape of the body shape remains as such but there is decrease in the volume there is decrease in the size this is all for today tomorrow will be with another lecture till then Allah Hafiz